Hey, what's up everyone? So today's pick a card reading is why are people so drawn to you slash attracted to you? I have three pals for you to choose from today. Pal one is the rose quartz bracelets. Pal two is the rose quartz crystal. And pal three is the rose quartz crystals in a bottle. I will be sure to timestamp each pal and leave it below in the description box. Feel free to choose more than one pal. More than one pal can be for you. Also, before I get started, I would like to thank all of you for the likes, comments, and the subscribes. You are appreciated. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's get into it, baby. <laughs> All right, so for those of you who chose PAL 1, the Rose Quartz Bracelet, I hope y'all can see it. It's looking a little bit clear quartz, <laughs> but it's Rose Quartz, all right, y'all? Um, and it has a little flower on the end. But yeah, for those of you who chose, I said flower, that's a leaf, actually. Maybe I had to bring it back, that's a leaf. <laughs> So for those of you who chose PAL 1, let's get into it and let's see why are people so drawn to you and attracted to you. First card is the Seven of Cups. The next card is the Six of Wands. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Next card is the Empress, and it says creation, abundance, and action. Next card is the Page of Water, and it says sensitive, open-hearted, intuitive. We also have the Six of Earth, and it says charity, generosity, and windfall. Next card is the Angel of Balance. And last but not least is the Understanding card, all right? So let's get into it. Pal 1, why are people so drawn to you slash attracted to you? Um, so Let me start off by saying with the Empress card okay the empress is connected to the planet venus venus is the planet of love fertility peace harmony grace charm beauty and self-worth so i feel like you're someone who's very attractive on many levels pal one um is why people are so drawn to you you're someone who's very lovable and people fall for you easily. I feel like you don't have to do a lot or do the most. People just naturally like you for who you are. I also feel like you're very supportive of others with the three of cups. I feel like you're Definitely someone who's very supportive of others. You're someone who likes to celebrate others. Or this is how people feel when they're around you. People may feel um, celebrated, just uplifted in some type of way. I also feel like with the understanding card, people definitely feel like, you know, you just get them or like they don't have to hide themselves, you know, maybe, you know, some people, um, when they get around certain people, they feel like they have to like dim, either dim their light or just hide who they truly are. But when it comes to you, pal, one, I feel like when people get in your presence or when they're around you, they feel like they can maybe let their guard down or let their, you know, they feel like they don't have to wear a mask.
people feel really good around you, pal one. I feel like people intuitively just feel safe around you, like I said, and they, they just feel like they can be themselves. Some people may feel like they can let their hair down with you, their hair down with you. <laughs> um, but all in all, pal one, I see that you're someone who has many qualities that people admire and are attracted to. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm about to, this is what I'm getting so far. All right. I'm about to go to my deck pal one to pull some more cards <laughs> to see what else is it about you that people are drawn to or they are, you know, attracted to about you. Like, what is it? What else is it <laughs> that people are so drawn to? With the Seven of Cups, I definitely feel like you're someone who may have a lot of admirers or a lot of options or a lot of opportunities. And it could be it could be because of these um, endearing qualities that you have, you know, beautiful qualities that you um, possess. Also, we have the first card that came out is sex appeal. So um, <laughs> when it comes to, okay, it's something about you. This could be physically or just the energy some of you carry. Some people are drawn to you because of your sex appeal. Something about you that is sexy or oozes sexy, you know, could be the energy that you carry for some of you. For others of you, I feel like it's how you look, you know. But yeah, so some people could be drawn to you for all the wrong reasons, you know. Or I feel like you may draw, you know... You may draw people who are not so good for you, but you may also draw those who are good for you. Because like I said, you're not just sexy or you don't just have sex appeal or ooze. You know, you don't just have a sexual energy about you. You have other beautiful qualities. So I definitely feel like you're someone who attract um, a lot of people. This is why you have a lot of options. <laughs> yeah. Something sexy about you. And we also have the Made in the 90s card, all right? So, with the Made in the 90s card, you could be someone who is was born in the 90s or the 90s may be very significant to some of you, all right? Sexy lips. So you definitely, a lot of you who chose pal one, people are attracted to your looks, okay? With the sexy lips card coming out, that lets me know that there are definitely a lot of people who are attracted to your lips. Doesn't matter what size your lips are, the shape of your lips, people are drawn to your lips, they're attracted to your lips. I also feel like um, it's letting me know that people are drawn to, like, maybe when first meeting you or seeing you, people notice your lips. It's something about your lips. For my women, for those of you who wear lipstick or whatever, people are, the. I feel like the lip shade, the lipstick shade or whatever, the lip gloss, the shade really may compliment you or your lips. Some of you could just have maybe plump lip, lips or something. But people are definitely drawn. The, one of the first things I feel like people may notice when it comes to your appearance or your face is your lips. They're drawn to your lips. They're attracted to your lips. And we had a fresh card. This card lets me know that a lot of you really put yourself together well. You dress well. You style yourself well, you know. Because it is something about some of the women, the people who are on these cards, okay? Now, you could have a unique style you that looks very nice on you. 
or you could look a little flashy you could look a little bad and bougie <laughs> for some of you uh, but it's definitely something about your style that people are attracted to and we have the vegetarian style i don't eat my friends so some of you may be a vegetarian or a vegan or a pescatarian some people are attracted to that about you for those of you who you know are vegetarians or vegans some people find that to be very attractive or you take care of or even if you do eat you know meat for those of you who do that car also could be letting me know that you may care about your health or you you like veg, veggies or vegetables, whatever, you know, <laughs> that you you eat may eat healthy and people are, some people are attracted to that about you, you know. We have 420. So, the you know, 420 could be significant to some of you. Um, also, some of you may smoke weed, marijuana, Mary Jane. Okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. And I feel like for those of you who do, there's some people who find that attractive. Okay. Some of you may not even look like you smoke, especially for my women. Some people may, you know, some of you may not look like you smoke. You may be weed smokers or something. And you may not even look like it, though. You know what I'm saying? But there's some people who find that attractive about you or drawn to you, even for my men. There's some people who like that because, you know, some people, you know, they may do that same thing is why they're drawn to you because they, that's a common thing, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's just for those of you who smoke marijuana. You know, Mary Jane. And then we had to keep it sexy. <laughs> the keep it sexy card came out. So <laughs> listen, power one. Let me let me run that back for you real quick, baby. We got the sex appeal in the keep it sexy card. You know, these are the only two cards in my deck, this deck right now, that has sexy on it. So people definitely find y'all to be very sexy. Maybe you look so good, power one, that people find you sexy and whatever you wear don't matter how you look could be having a, maybe a bad hair day or you don't think you look you don't think you look up to part or you just threw on something or you're in pjs or just whatever it is people just find you to be sexy maybe you're someone who keep it sexy just always look sexy or people are always like attracted to you no matter what you look like you know or what you have on Cause we got the people definitely find y'all to be very physically attractive, pal one. And you're unforgettable. You so damn sexy, you're unforgettable. <laughs> people don't forget you. Also, with the unforgettable card, I'm getting that, you know, some people could later, you're probably someone who people later fantasize about, daydream about, think about because you are so physically attractive clearly clearly because we do have the empress okay and like i told y'all you know yeah empress definitely represents you know beauty and so many other great qualities and you know and then we have two sexy cars that came out so this is just let me know that power one you're very physically attractive even people who don't get to know you on a deeper level or level or don't get to see all of your great qualities right away because they just saw you one time or they don't get to know you on a deeper level. It's the physical attraction maybe first for a lot of people is why they're pulled in by you. They could be mesmerized by your physical appearance because you're definitely someone who's very physically attractive. Confirmation. A lot of people are drawn to, um, attracted to your face. So you're very physically attractive. Clearly, I feel like it doesn't matter what size you are. You're someone who has a very good looking face. And look, the mouth area, people really love your lips, your mouth area for sure. And, you know, I'm also getting, you know, some of you, your, your features, you know, definitely because this is my nice features card. So people just, they're very attracted to how you look physically. Um, we have you are on the right path. So I just feel like spirit or your spirit guides just want to come through and let you know that you are on the right path, baby. Okay. <laughs> and let's keep going. I'm going to get a couple more cards before I end your reading with a Zodiac card. 
that could be attractive as well um, about you or why people may be drawn to you. And these could be people who are energetically good for you. People also, I feel like you have multiple of options. You know, you have good options. You have some not so good options. But I feel like you're definitely someone who's strong enough and able to discern, weed out the options, the good, the not so good options from the good options, you know. Um but by you being on the right path, you will have those who will come to you for superficial reasoning, reasonings or reasons. And um, you will have those who are maybe an energetic match. You just have to use discernment because you are on the right path. So there will be people who come into your life that only looking at you physically and only there to distract you, distract you or throw you off your path. All right, so you're someone who attract high vibrational people, but also low vibrational people. Um, because you're someone who's on the right path. So you have to, you know, definitely use discernment and intuition when it comes to letting people in. You know, with the angel of balance, I feel like this lets me know that you're, you're someone who's very fair. But it also lets me know that you're someone who has balance in your life and you're stable, you know. And, you know, I'm also getting, you know, with the angel of balance, mind, body, and soul is in alignment, you know, confirmation, which you're on the right path. So you're definitely going to have some people who come in, some of your options or admirers that admire you for all the wrong reasons, all right, and are only there so you can choose them and get distracted or thrown off your path, all right? So I will pull like one or two more cards. <laughs> And then I might go ahead and end your reading with a Zodiac card, pal one. So I feel like definitely you have some people who are attracted to you for good reasonings. And then you also have people who are attracted to you for all the wrong reasons. <sighs> yeah. Confirmation to the Seven of Cups. You have a lot of admirers. Some may have not came up to you yet. All right. Because some could be intimidated by you. All right. <laughs> But um, you have a lot of admirers, a lot of options, a lot of people who are drawn to you and are attracted to you. All right, I'm going to get one more card. And then I'm going to end your reading with a Zodiac card, y'all. <laughs> For real this time. <laughs> And we had this hopped. I wanted to take it because it hopped. Good looking. Confirmation. Y'all just very physically attractive. And that's the last card. Some of you may have color for hair. Okay. You may not. This card just want, may have wanted to come out for those of you who have colorful hair. Or, yeah, for those who do have colorful hair, this is your confirmation. All right. Doesn't necessarily mean that all of you have colorful hair, all right? But some people are attracted to your hair, even if it's not colorful. Something about your hair, people are attracted to. It probably really, the color of your hair, I'm also getting that the color of your hair may really compliment you, all right? Whatever color it is. People are definitely drawn to it. And I'm about to pull a Zodiac card before I end your reading, pal one. Some of you um, may be a earth sign or you have an earth sign placement in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Some of you may also be a water sign or you have a water sign placement in your chart. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You may not be. But these are the signs that I'm getting so far with the Empress in all these cups out here. And confirmation. We have the water card, the first card that came out. And we have Jupiter. And Jupiter represents abundance. The Empress represents abundance. So that's funny. You're very abundant in so many areas, okay? So many gifts or qualities that you have. You're very, you're someone who's very abundant. You know, not just in one area of your life, I feel like. And this is why people are definitely drawn to you and attracted to you. You're someone who has many um, great qualities. Um, Jupiter represents Sagittarius. So Sagittarius 
Some of you may be a Sagittarius or you have a Sagittarius placement in your chart. Yeah. Also, the number three could be significant to some of you. The number six, seven, nine, 24, and 48 could be significant to some of you. Now, the numbers I named could be your life path number, a lucky number, your age, birthday, your birthday month, or someone close to you age. But that completes your reading, that completes your message, pal. One, if it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe, okay? If it did not, feel free to check out any of the other pals, all right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, thank you so much, pal one. Until next time. <laughs>
they've gotten i feel like they've gotten something out of the conversation or they've learned something new or something valuable now some of you also with the high priestess i feel like some of you may be some type of teacher a life coach a mentor or guidance counselor some of you could be a light worker because I feel like, you know, with the high priestess, a lot of you are very intuitive. Um, you're definitely someone I feel like people feel like they can learn from is why they're drawn to you because you're someone I see who has been through a lot. OK, um, with the warrior card, this definitely lets me know that you've been through a lot, even with the strength card. But you're someone who has been through a lot and who has overcame a lot and you've also have learned a lot. So even knowingly, for some people this could be knowingly, they knew you they know you have overcome a lot. They seen the things you've been through or they know of the things you've been through and how you have come out or how you persevered. And this is why they feel drawn to you for, you know, guidance or something. For others of you, I feel like people just intuitively feel this, even if they don't know your story is what I'm getting. They just intuitively feel this with you, okay? You definitely, with the Angel of Strength card, you have a strong inner strength. With the Warrior card, you're just someone who's very strong. And I feel like really have been through a lot, overcame a lot, and... There's people who know this and there's people who just kind of intuitively feel this from you um, because of, you know, that inner strength that you have and that confidence. It's an inner confidence as well that you carry. So, yes, this is what I'm getting so far, pal, too. All right. This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm picking up from the cards that we have so far. But I will pull a few cards. Oops. I will pull a few cards from my deck before I end your reading with a Zodiac card. To see what else is it about you that people are so drawn to and why are they, you know, attracted to you. Let's see what else want to come out from my deck. I also feel like with the Six of Pentacles, you're you're someone. That's why I say you could be a light worker because with the Six of Pentacles, I definitely feel like you're someone who loves to help others. You're someone who um, may be very generous. When you help others, you actually do it because you want to help them. Um, not and you don't look for anything back in return. That's why I said you could be some type of light worker. You could be some type of uh, mentor or guidance for others. Or a guidance counselor. Or a therapist. So we have mindset. The first card that came out, we have mindsets. So I feel like this confirmation that, you know, a lot of people are drawn to um, your mind or attracted to your mind. Because I feel like you're someone who has a positive mindset. A strong mindset, you know. Yeah, so I feel like you're someone who's very strong-minded, you know. And I feel like people like that about you. People like to know, like, your perspective or your outlook. Because maybe some of the things you say, it just makes sense or it, it wakes something up in people. Or it makes others think. So I definitely feel like, yeah, you're someone pal to the words or the things that you say or the knowledge that you speak to others or just a conversation with you. It has people left thinking. You're it's something about you're able to, I maybe maybe I feel like maybe you're able to change people's perspective or open people's mind. That's what it is. All right. 
All right, so. Like I said, the first card was the mindset card confirmation. We also have don't worry, be happy. Be happy not because everything is good, but because you can see the good in everything. I definitely feel like this is you, Patu. You're someone who's able to see the good in everything. Um, and you're also able to help people see things in a, you know, view things with a different outlook or see maybe change their perspective or see things in a different light, or open people's mind. Some people secretly watch you. So I strongly feel like maybe some of you do something, you have your own platform, or you do something online. There's people who secretly watch you, maybe people that you know of, but you didn't even know they watch you. Um, so I also feel like people secretly learn from you. And also, if you're someone who I definitely kind of feel like you're physically attractive as well, or some, you know, some of you may be very physically attractive to others, people secretly watch you, maybe when they think you're not looking. This could be still on social media or online or just in public. Like, people like to watch you. I feel like people like to listen to you. That's why I said it's something maybe some of you do with your throat chakra. So, people, I feel like this is my nice features card. So, people, if they do secretly watch you, and this could be strangers in public. People, um, I feel like they may find your, you to be very physically attractive. They could find you to be something about your features, attractive. People are attracted to. People may find you to be physically attractive. Also, we had a maid in the 90s card that came out. So the 90s may be very significant to some of you. Also, you know, some of you may have been born in the 90s. I also feel like with, you know, I do have the page of air in the night of air, which are, you know, air represents swords. Um, and I have the six of swords, so I definitely feel like, you know, People like your, you may be someone who's very authentic. I feel like people like your authenticity, your honesty, and your fairness as well. So people could be attracted to you for that very reason also, is that you're someone who's very authentic, seems to be very authentic. We have gym flow. It's time to get stronger. People could definitely be attracted to you, pal, to physically. It could be your body. You may look very athletic. You may look toned or just have a nice body. Some of you may work out. People may um, check you out in the gym or people may just be attracted to the fact that you take care of your, your health or your body or yourself in general. Let me show y'all the made in the 90s card. And let me pull, I'll pull a couple more cards before I end your reading with a Zodiac card, pal, too. Some of you may have dark hair. Some of you may not, but this came out for those of you. This may be confirmation for those of you who have dark hair. The, your hair color may be black, maybe dark brown, could be dark blue, could be dark purple, could be some type of dark shade. Naturally, or maybe you keep it colored that way. This way, I mean. <laughs> could also mean that you have some type of dark you may have light hair but you have dark highlights i'm also getting with the dark hair if, for those of you who have dark hair your dark hair um compliments you could compliment your teachers We have the keep it sexy card. So people definitely find y'all to be very attractive, okay, physically. It's why they're drawn to you also. 
You're someone who keep it sexy or you always look sexy, even if you're upset or mad <laughs> or no matter what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you was down or you was struggling or you was, you know, was going through so you still was looking good. You're someone, look, when with the keep it sexy, I'm also getting, I'm getting that a lot of you don't look like what you've been through. And this was very attractive as well. Some people probably couldn't imagine the things that you have been through in your life or you had to go through or you went through. And um, you remain sexy or you just, you really blossom. You really had a glow up after everything that you've been through. Okay. This is what I'm getting. <laughs> and it says, see good in all things, positive outlook. So people, I definitely feel like this is confirmation that you're someone who keeps a positive outlook on life and um people could be definitely attracted to that about you definitely drawn to that about you but i just let i just feel like that lets me know that you're definitely someone you know it's confirmation to the strength card in the warrior you're someone who doesn't give up you're someone who's resilient and um you keep a positive outlook on life you know even when you know the dark times you're just someone who keeps your head up or you just keep going or you fall you get back up you remain maybe optimistic you know is why you're able to continue to move forward and some people are definitely i feel like attracted to that about you we also have the we only have what we give card so that's just confirmation to the six of pentacles you're someone who's very giving or helpful you're also loving you're also someone who's very loving but I feel like you're someone who loves yourself, first and foremost, you know? That's why you have such strong confidence within yourself, such strong inner strength, and such strong inner faith within yourself. You're someone I feel like strongly believes in yourself. But yes, people like to secretly watch y'all. I'm going back to this card. Because <laughs> I feel like people secretly... Really like to watch y'all. So you definitely may have uh, some type of social media platform or a platform where you work from, you do something on. Mm -hmm. So I'll take these last few cards that I have that came out. Colorful hair. Some of you may have colorful hair and people may be attracted to that, you know, or drawn to it. Also... We have a nice smile. So a lot of you may have a very attractive smile that people are drawn to when they first notice you or they see you or they just find your smile to be very attractive. Some of you may have dimples as well. Some of you may have nice teeth. Some of you may have a gap as well is what I'm getting. Um, and we had an independent card. I feel like that's confirmation to the angel strength card. People are attracted to in the worry, warrior card. People are this confirmation. You know, I definitely feel like, you know, there's people who are attracted to or drawn to your independence. You're definitely someone who's very independent, maybe self-reliant and also with the nine of cups, self-validated. You're someone who has, a, you know, a strong self-worth. Uh, people are attracted to that about you or they like that about you. We have beautiful I feel like this is just confirmation that you're someone who's physically attractive as well. People find you to be physically attractive. And you may be someone who is unforgettable also with the unforgettable card coming out. So you may be definitely someone who people can't um, forget. Even if you, after, I feel like you're someone, after you have walked away or if someone has walked away from you, I don't know. I feel like it's something about your energy. You know, you're, you are someone is hard for people made to, it may be to get over or forget is what I'm getting. Cause you're someone who maybe I feel like leave your mark or it's just, it's something about you, um, that people can't forget. I also feel like I'm getting with the unforgettable, your words, the, just the things, the knowledge, the things that you say to people, the things you speak, like it's on people's mind later, or I don't care if it's a year later or six months later, but it's just something that you say to people or the words that you speak. 
you're someone who pops up in people's mind or the things that you say. You know, it's just, it's unforgettable. People remember what you said. Whatever you say to them. Because I feel like, like I said, you're someone who's very knowledgeable. So we have the first two cards that came out is Cancer and Scorpio. So some of you definitely may be a water sign or you have a water sign placement in your chart. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We have Pluto. Pluto represents Scorpio. So that's just confirmation. Also, some of you may be an air sign or you have an air sign placement in your chart. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And I'm taking one more. Ooh, air. <laughs> so that's just confirmation. I'll take one more after that. That's just confirmation that, you know, some of you definitely may be an air sign or you have an air sign placement in your chart. You could have an air sign placement in your second house. And we have the seventh house. You could have an air sign or a water sign placement in your seventh house. Seventh house represents relationships. So definitely maybe people from the past that you left behind or the relationships that you have with people or have had in the past. Definitely, I feel like it's confirmation that it's hard for, maybe hard for people to let you go. You're definitely someone who um, leaves some type of imprint in people's mind, okay? And it could be something that you said. It could be any type of relationship that you have with people. Once you've gone, you move away. You didn't even have to cut them off. But um, you're definitely someone it's hard for people to forget for whatever reason, all right? So let me get some numbers before I end your reading. Now, the signs, I, the signs that I name doesn't necessarily have to resonate with you, and it doesn't necessarily have to be your zodiac sign. These are just the signs that really want to come out and show themselves. This could be the energy that you're in right now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> So the number, like I said before, the number six and nine, six and nine may definitely be significant to some of you. Also, the number 40, 45, 50, 22, 25, 8, and 4 could be significant to some of you as well. All right. Now, the numbers I named could be your life path number, a lucky number, your age, your birthday, or someone close to you age. But um, yeah, that completes your reading. That completes your message. If it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe, pal, too. If it did not, feel free to check out any of the other pals. Also, feel free to go on my channel and check out my Pick a Card Messages playlist. I thank you so, so much, pal, too. Until next time. All right, so for those of you who chose Path 3, the Rose Quartz Crystals in a Bottle, let's get into it, baby. <laughs> and let's see um, 
Why are people so drawn to you and attracted to you? The first card is the Ten of Cups. The next card is the Four of Wands. The Six of Cups. And the Fool card. We also have the Knight of Fire, Confident, Passionate, and Adventurous. Next card is the Two of Earth, Balance, Prioritization, and Playfulness. Next card is the Queen of Water. It says Loving, Giving, Psychic. Next card is the Page of Fire, and it says Creative, Enthusiastic, and Motivated. We also have the Sun card. And last but not least is the Confident card. So let's just get right into it, pal. Three. Why are people so drawn to you and attracted to you? Well, let me start off with, with the Sun card, all right? I feel like you have this warm and joyful aura that attracts people around you. You're also someone who's optimistic and full of gener... I said generally. <laughs> full of energy, all right? You're someone who's very op optimistic and full of energy. Um, you radiate positivity on all those lucky enough to be near you. People feel uplifted and reinvigorated. I also feel like you're someone who has self-confidence, clarity, and direction. With the full card is why people are drawn to you and may naturally want to follow your lead because i feel like people are also capable of seeing the warm beautiful energy which you bring into their lives you radiate love and affection especially towards those you care about the most i feel like All in all, pal three, you're someone who trusts yourself. You live fearlessly, freely. You're authentic, bold, and spontaneous, I feel like, or adventurous. Same thing, if you ask me. <laughs> On top of that, you're someone with, um, you know, the sun card I'm getting, even the full card. But I'm getting that you're someone with a very positive attitude. And this is what I feel like makes you so very attractive to people, pal three. And I say spontaneous, yeah, because see, with the night of fire, so I get the, you know, I get spontaneous with the food card. But it's funny, you know, the Knight of Fire, which is the Knight of Wands in the original tarot deck, it says confident, passionate, and adventurous. So, you know, just feel like it's confirmation. You're definitely someone who is spontaneous and adventurous. Um, and you also what may draw people to you or people find attractive is the fact that with the two of earth, I feel like you're someone who knows how to make time for playtime, you know. The Two of Earth, which is the Two of Pentacles, it represents balance, prioritization, and playfulness. So people are attracted to like your little your your playful side or the fact that you know how to make time for playtime. You know, I also feel like you may be someone who has a good sense of humor as well, funny. Um, people are drawn to these different things that about you. Um, I also feel like you may be charismatic as well. Someone who has charisma. 
So I'm about to pull a few cards from my deck before I end your reading. That's what I'm getting, but that's what I'm getting so far with the cards that we have. Pal 3 out already. Um, like I said, I'm about to pull a few more cards from my deck to see why else is it people so are so drawn to you and attracted to you. Um, also, yeah, after I pull a few cards, I will pull you guys um, a few Zodiac cards. You may be someone who never gives up also because the first card we have is the never give up card. And people could be attracted to that about you as well. Look, full of life. <laughs> Confirmation. I feel like your energy. You're someone who's just like a ball of energy, you know, you're someone when you step into a bill, you really don't have to say nothing because it's your energy or your aura. You also have a strong presence. I feel like in, um, you step into a building, you walk into a place or you go into, you go to some type of event or setting wherever you are, you could just go to the grocery store. But you're full of life. Your energy is just kind of spreads to those who are around you. You're someone who I feel like you can change the energy of the room, you know, of a, a certain dynamic or setting. You change it. You can change it just by you being there. Your energy, your aura, it ups, it ups it's like it uplifts those who are around you or in the location, the building, wherever you're at. This could be knowingly or unknowingly for some of you, because some of you, you're probably like, really? I don't even say nothing. I'm kind of quiet or I'm kind of just laid back, but it's your energy, you know? You're someone who your energy speaks for itself. You don't have to say nothing. Just by someone speaking to you or just by you saying hello to someone or just by you smiling at someone, it can uplift them. It makes them feel good because we do have a nice smile card that came out. <laughs> so people may be attracted to your smile as well. You may be someone who has a beautiful smile, a nice smile, a very attractive smile. Some of you may have dimples. Just, be, just could be something about your smile that lights up your face or lights up others' face that people are drawn to or, or attracted to. Um, some of you may just have really nice teeth, you know, or really white teeth. Let's see what these are that came out of here. Should I take them? It's like three of them. Yeah, I'll take them. <laughs> so we have confident, confirmation. Definitely feel like you're someone with confidence. That's conf the confident card is confirmation to the Knight of Fire card. Um, also, we have personality begins where comparison is comparison ends so people are attracted to your personality so some of you definitely may have a big personality you know some of you may be very friendly may be very talkative but i'm getting that others of you are not you know you may not be but it's definitely the energy that you carry it speaks for yourself you know even if you're not that talkative but it's something about your personality people are attracted to as well they're drawn to that's what's letting me know that some of you have a really big personality or a larger than life type of personality. Uh, we have 100% a real one. So that's just definitely, I feel like, you know, something about you just come off as very real or authentic or maybe raw um, that people are attracted to. They, I feel like they may can just feel it. They can sense it, sense it from you. Could be you. Some of you may have a raw personality or something. But it's just something people can sense that is real about you, authentic. Because I feel like you're definitely someone who is just not afraid to be true to you. You're someone I feel like who's very true to yourself.
And people, I guess, you know, I feel like they can sense this about a lot of you or sense this from a lot of you. We also have, you are on the right path. <laughs> I feel like that's just confirmation to the food card. Remember I said, you know, you're definitely someone who um, seems to be, you know, know where you're going in life and stuff like that, you know. But, you know, that card also, it, when it comes out, I feel like this spirit wants you to know that you are on the right path. Oh, and also, like I said, it's just confirmation to the food card. I feel like, you know, you're someone who has self-confidence, clarity, and direction. You know where you're heading in life. You know where you're going. You're not someone who's lost. Some of you may have blonde hair. I feel like that could be confirmation to the confidence card because both women on these cards have blonde hair. So some of you... Now, you may not have blonde hair. Some of you could have dark hair, brunette, dark brown, black, you know, hair. But the blonde card came out for those of you who have blonde hair. <laughs> you know, that's your confirmation. This definitely is for you. And because <laughs> dark hair is funny. So you, those of you who have dark hair, dark brown, black, purple, you know what I'm saying, blue, dark shade color hair. This is your confirmation as well. <laughs> Look, we have confidence. So I feel like this is just confirmation that a lot of you are just very confident within who you are. You know, very just true to yourself. You may be someone who just live your life freely, fearlessly, and you just may not care about what other people think. This kind of want to pop out. I went ahead and took it because I feel like it may resonate with some of you. We have the 420 card. So 420 could be significant to some of you or some of you may be weed smokers all right you may like marijuana mary jane all right same thing you know you may smoke a little bit and um some people may be attracted to that you know that's just for those of you who do or like i said 420 could just be significant to some of you So let me pull a couple more cards before I end your reading with Zodiac card. Pal, three. Some of you may have colorful hair. If you don't have blonde hair or dark hair, you just may dye your hair colorfully. We have facial hair. Some of you may have, for my men, may have facial hair. And people are attracted to your facial hair. For some of you, it could be your colorful hair or the style of your hair that people are attracted to. Yeah, I had to bring that back. But yeah, for those of you who have facial hair, people are attracted to that. I feel like they like your facial hair. They are drawn to it. Some of you may keep your hair cut low. So we're getting a lot. I'm getting a lot of hair cards for you, pal. Three. So this is just letting me know that it really doesn't matter how you keep your hair how low or how long it is, how low it's trimmed or cut, or how long or the style, people are definitely drawn to your hair. Maybe when they first see you or meet you or they're just very attracted to your hair, something about your hair people are attracted to. We have the see good in all things, positive outlook. So you're definitely someone who has a positive outlook on life. And um, I feel like this confirmation very positive and people are attracted to that people are drawn to that on the bottom of the deck we have strong presence your energy introduces you before you even speak big energy status that's just confirmation pal three you're definitely someone who has big energy <laughs> you also have some admirers all right you have some admirers and we have it's the energy for me so that's just confirmation would you have like this sun like energy is you know this aura about you people are really drawn to you and attracted to you because of your light all right <laughs> you know people are drawn to your light you may be someone also i feel like who may attract a lot of energy vampires or you may have in the past you know because of your light your big beautiful light the energy that you carry and last but not least is sexy lips. There's something about your lips. A lot of you who chose power three, there's something about your lips that people are attracted to, that people are drawn to. All right. So 
So I'm just pulling a Zodiac card before I end your reading, pal. Three, all right. So we have Taurus. Some of you may be a Taurus or you have a Taurus placement in your chart. We also have Aries. Um, some of you definitely may be a fire sign or you have a fire sign placement in your chart. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Also with the Queen of Water. Some of you may be a water sign or you have a water sign placement in your chart. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Some of you may also be a Libra as well. And... um. Or you have a Libra placement in your chart. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to see that I want to. Some of you may be also be like, um, I'm getting Capricorn or Virgo also. Or you have a Capricorn or Virgo placement in your chart. But um, yeah, let me get some numbers before I end your reading. The number two may be significant to some of you. The number six, four, ten. 20, 42, and 28 may be significant to some of you. Also, the number 33 may be significant to some of you. Now, the numbers I named could be your life path number, a lucky number, your age, birthday, or your birthday month. But that completes your reading. That completes your message. If it resonated with you, pal three, give it a like, comment, <laughs> or subscribe. If you did not, feel free to check out any of the other pals. Also, feel free to go on my channel and check out my Pick a Card Messages playlist. I thank you so, so much, pal three. Until next time.